So you want to be a speaker, but your slides ain't fly. You got to hit us up to get pimped out slides. You got to pimp my slides. That's how we roll here in New York, huh? All right. All right. Pimping slides. I'm a little nervous for this title, but... <laughs> you know what? We're going to have fun. This we're, is Tom Roop, our network admin here in slide. New York. This is Eric. He's the director of technology libraries here at York. And we're going to be working with slides. We're going to find a way to make them look beautiful for you uh, and engaging for your students. And for your students to be able to do this as well, you can teach them as well, a.k.a. Pimp Your Slides. Which Annette, our tech coach, alluded to earlier behind us. Yeah. Pimp and Slides. All right. So first it ain't thing easy, but it sure is fun. First thing we're going to do in order to get really good, uh, fantastic-looking slides is go to slides.google.com. It's important to go to slides.google.com. How come? Well, if you just go into a slide from your drive, for instance, in my drive, and we click new slide, it just brings you to a blank slide. You don't get any kind of frills or fun things you can do with it right off the bat. So when we go to slides.google.com, we have the ability here to click on our template gallery and see more different, more different, awesome. More fun ways to pimp your slide. Awesomer slides. Awesomer awesome. slides. More differenter. More awesomer. I'm talking like my seven-year-old. Well, you know. Yeah, that's good for you. So it's I'm going to pick a, uh, a fun little template here. Let's do the, uh, you want to do a case study or you want to do a status? Or you want to do the pitch? Yeah, let's show me, do a show pitch. Show me a pitch. Go for a pitch. Like a baseball pitch Why or not? like pitch an idea? Either or. Either way, I'm just going to throw it at There's you. There's the pitch. I'm throw it throw at, it at you. you. We threw a pitch. That was the slide. <laughs> <laughs> Throw the slider for the slides. slides. Got it. Got it. Right. I got it. Could have been a slur. That was good. Slider curve. So right off the bat, as soon as you get into this slide, once you um, have picked your uh, your theme, you can actually change that. There's a, a, a slide um, a scrolling bar here on your right hand side, where they give you a little bit of themes to uh, change to. There's also import theme, which is a really great feature because if you go to a website like Slide Carnival. Ooh, I love Slides Carnival. Dot com. Not so really. Slides I'm Carnival, you can actually download a bunch of different <laughs> fun slides uh, to use specifically within Google Slides. So let's pick a slide to import. What do you want to do? Let's pick a category here. Let's do a creative one. Ooh, We're going to be creative. creative. Oh, you know what? Can you be creative? Just for us, because I can't be creative, I want to be playful because I'm far more <laughs> playful than oh, I'm creative. Oh, boy. Oh, <laughs> he's a Virgo. He likes long walks. On Actually, the beach. I'm a Leo, not a Virgo. Whatever. Just made it. Born up. in August. Crab presentation template. Crab. Boom. Because we need the crab that presentation. Either way. All right. Crab. Dungeness. Right. Dungeness crab. Uh, blue shell. Lump. Blue shell. Blue, blue shell. So soft shell. Soft, soft blue, shell. Blue soft You're shell. all over the map. Use this. King crab. <laughs> right. Go for it. And now we have a fun template that we just dropped in. Which makes sense, because there's a dog on it, and it's called Crab. So there's that. Right. Yeah. Yep. Okay. So by default, it comes in viewed only. So what you'll have to do is just make a copy and port this in. Make a copy. Because you got anonymous narwhals yeah. and dolphins swimming up there. And now we're doing a copy of Crab. Well, you know. Boom. Done. All right. On to the next quick little tip here. So if you decide you don't want to use a presentation, a, um, a theme in your presentation, and uh, especially good when you have kids because kids tend to focus a little too much on bells and whistles, the bells and whistles, the fun things, and not the actual content that yeah. they want to do. Where's the meat? Which is Remember great that because wh where's the beef? Oh, right. Where's the beef? <laughs> Either the way. little old lady. Where's right, the beef? Right, right, right. I was mixing Arby's and Wendy's you, together. That was the problem. Where's the beef? Arby's is we, we have, have the meats. We have the right. meats. Right. We have gotcha. the meats. So now we so I'm owe gonna, money to these two companies, or probably, do they pay us? Probably. Oh, okay. Um, so if you do, if you just have them do a blank slide, and if they add anything into the slide, like you know, considering we're on Eric's, I'm going to add an image. Oh boy, here we go. This is my personal. Sorry, folks. And we're going to drop have in to scan this one. the birthday party. Oh, Actually, we'll uh, grab in the Google logo that he oh, created perfect. instead of his birthday party for his daughter. So creative. So creative. Look at that. We got a wonderful little York School Google logo. The Googs. If we click on Explore, we have other options in how to 
pimp your slide. Oh, hey, pimp the goods. So it'll give you a couple of cool little layouts. Oh, I like that one. To change it. This one? Nice little frame, yeah. The frame. Yeah. Eric wants the frame. Look at that. So we framed it. It really stands out. We framed the googs. Mm -hmm. So so now we want to do a couple more interesting and cool uh, pimps. Interesting pimps. Yeah? You're going to animate these pimps? Let's animate the pimps. Uh -huh. So All the right. first thing we're going to do is the slide just itself. just became rated R. <laughs> the whole thing itself is called a slide deck. Correct. So the actual individual pieces are called the slides. We want to transition the slides. So from one to another. From one to another. Yeah, almost like shuffling. Shuffling. Gotcha. Well, you can't shuffle, but you can flip it. Oh. Instead of flipping your classroom, you flip the slide. Flip it for real? Flip it for real. All right, yeah, I like it that. Flip it for real. Like we could set it as a cube. Ooh. We can do gallery. We can slide it in from one side to the other. Whoa. Or we can fade. I like the high top fade. <laughs> I bet you Going do. For the high top I fade. bet you do. Did you have one back in the day? No. No, no. no, my hair pretty much has not changed since 1995. <laughs> okay. Been the same. Good to know. So Still looks good, Roop. Still looks good. Once you select your transitions, not only can you transition from slides, you can transition objects. Yeah, I like that. By animating them. So my Googs could come in from off, off slide left, we're exit gonna, stage right, one gonna, of those. We're not going to do sort a of like me. again. Here I go. And I'm back. But it's not exit, it's fly in. Ooh. So you want to pick which fly side you want to fly, fly in from. I like fly it. Fly in or fly I out. I like it. Let's fly in. So if you have different things on it, you have one part that comes in, you can fly one thing right. in to start, you can fly right. that out. So you can fly out of Boston, and fly into Orlando. You don't have to do it in different slides. You can do it all in one slide. Right. Okay. Lots so of we're, pictures. We're going, to f we're going to zoom in to this Goog right here. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's, let's, can we see it? Do we get a little preview? We can preview it. Okay. Let's preview it. We're going to do it as soon as the slide starts. Oh, because you have options. You, you have could options. do it on a click. Right. So as soon as it oh, comes in, look at that. it zooms in. Zooming. Right? Mm -hmm. The next thing we're going to do here, we're going to stop this. We're going to go back to our animation. And we're going to tell it uh, on click to fly out to the right. Mm -hmm. okay. Exit stage right. We are then going to add in a, whoops. Oh, now look what you did. <laughs> He doesn't know his right. Control Z. Move it back. Undo. Undo. I'm then going to, after it flies out to the right, yeah. I'm going to fly it in from the left. Whoa. You're playing with me now. And that is going to happen after the previous. Right. So you're building. So we're building. You're building these animations. We're building an animation. So now we're animating the heck out of this. So we zoomed in. And then on click, one goes out, one comes in. Ooh. So you could almost have this constantly running. This can turn into a loop where you can have a full animation from one slide. So teachers could have this running during sneak a peek, open houses, ooh, digital signage in schools. Digital signage in schools is a great way Piece to do it. Piece of cake. Awesome. Piece of cake. You can like flip it. things around. The next thing we're going to do real quick, or the last part of this we're going to do, is a video. Whoa. And the new options, new options that Google has set up for videos. That's new this year, 2017. New as of, well, today's a Friday. Yeah. Because we like Fridays. Well, you know. Right? Who doesn't? It's new as of a week ago, actually. 2017, uh, early spring, late winter, 2017. So let's get rid of this. And let's insert a video. Now, when we insert a video, you can do this from your drive. You can do it from a regular URL anywhere else. Or you can do it directly to YouTube. You can do the search right there. I can Question search for YouTube you. right here. If I'm searching for YouTube inside of a tool like Google Slides, is it guaranteed to be a safe search? No. Okay, that's good to know. It is not. Because as a teacher, I want to make sure I know that going in. Right. right. Um, within your IT department, they can turn on safe searches for Google. If you have Google turned on, uh, a safe search turned on in your Chrome directly, it does it for everything that you search for in Chrome. I got you. But we're not going to do an unsafe search. We're going to do a safe search. So, okay, so... So we're doing the safety dance? We're doing the safety dance. Of course you are. So we'll do you can dance if you want to. You can leave your safety slides dance. behind. No. So I just searched for safety dance. Right. Of course. And there they are. There's a crazy frog. Crazy frog. frog of we're course. Wasn't the original artist, I don't believe. No. 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 Okay. It was men without men hats. Without, men in hats. Men without hats. Men without hats. No, it's men in hats, but men without hats. Mm. Mm. Right. That I'm going to take it from Glee. That'd be a spoof. I'm going to take it from Glee. Okay, you're going to go... We're going to go school, old school. I yeah, like this. because I think Lee's a pretty safe. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Always preview your video. movies, folks. Always preview your movies. Okay. And if you want to make sure that this is something that's not going to pop up with any videos or anything else afterwards, right. there are some other search engines you can put this into and you can remove anything else. Like View Pure, like one of those. View Pure is perfect. Good gotcha. job. Okay. Well, well done. Well, yeah. So I'm going to resize this just slightly. Whoop. Whoop. And then we're going to go in the new feature, Video Options. Three amazing features and video options. First, this. you can start playing it to understand where you want to Wait. be in the song. In the corner. I need to tell you something. So you get a preview. I need to tell you something. Because you don't need that introduction, really. We don't need the full introduction. We just really want him to get into the song Safety Dance. Oh my god. Which is not... <laughs> so the Safety Dance here starts at... About 50. 50. Yeah. So we're going to start at 50. I didn't realize he could dance if he wanted to. He could. You know? And because we're not going to do this throughout the whole, we're just going to end it at one minute. So 10 seconds here. 10 second clip. That's my math kicking in. <laughs> Good math jobs. You know. Math skills. Math <laughs> skills yeah. that pay the bills. Well, they do. Someone like has to. That's right. So we're going to do a little 10 se second clip. Um, the option here, autoplay when presenting. So as soon as you are presenting and you click on this slide, it will start that without having to click on anything. So if you don't check that box, you the slide would come up with the preview of the movie, but you'd have to click to play. Right. So exactly. some people do want that feature. They want to wait and kind of introduce the video themselves. Others just want this thing to run as soon as it goes because it's sort of like the revealer slide. Perfect for, as we mentioned before, um, Digital signage. Right. If you want to do game highlights in your school for digital signage, Ooh. you could do a five-second clip on there and tell it to start and autoplay when that slide comes up so that you're go going right in and you have the clip of your highlights. I like it. It's a great thing. Mm -hmm. The other thing you can do is mute audio. So if you have those, again, game highlights where you don't want to have all the background noise cheering or the random parent. In the parent, lobby of your school, yeah, you'd probably mute that. And the random parent just screaming and yelling out there. Well, yeah. With the GoPro on his that helmet. That guy. Yeah. Okay. Um, I'm not that parent. No. 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 I'm on the sidelines doing it, so I don't have to worry about that. <laughs> That's right. Uh, you can mute audio right here so that you don't have to have uh, any audio in there. So if for some reason you forget to mute it on the TV, it's done right within the video. Gotcha. So we're not going to mute the audio for this because we want to do the play on that. We're going to auto play when presenting, but I'm just going to click on it so you can see. Uh, I think you need to. Yeah, yeah. This looks good. You can see down here, it has the little section of your clip. That was perfect. That was a guess perfect for safety. It was very safe. Safety. Yeah. Safety, safety first. Safety first, Yes, kids. absolutely. Safety first. So, if you want to become a slide expert and pimp your slide, as we just did, use those tips and you will become the, the slide pimp master. Can we say that on, on air?